We are like hand over foot climbing this thing. This is what I got to work with. They're sliding down the mountain. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm in trouble. And we're still way the heck up here. Glen Alps Trailhead in Chugach State Park and we are about to try to hike up to Flat Top Mountain and there's a few geocaches up there. We are hopeful that we'll be able to make it up there. It is still snowy and icy up here so we're prepared. We stopped and got some gloves. We're wearing our winter coats and boots and everything so hopefully we can make it. And got the bear spray. Strapping on the bear spray. There seems to be a geocache pretty close to us going forward, but it's pretty slow going with the trail looking like this. that this was here for a reason or is this just trash because it looks like we're meant to go that way up into that right, let's try it, huh? give it a go that hole is where I sunk down all the way to my hip <laughs> Elliot says we should keep going we're only 70 feet away you over It might be like right in these trees somewhere. Like right by where you are. Let me see the clues. Find the frog before the frog finds you. A regular sized ammo container off the main trail to flat top. As a child, I was always fascinated by the trees at the lower part of flat top. I figured if I was a gnome or a goblin, I would live right around here. Elevation is 2,295 feet. It says we're like eight feet away, so we're practically like right on it. Yeah, but I mean, if it's under the snow, we're not. Yeah, there's no way if it's buried. Uh oh, Elliot's stuck over there, so I'll have to go out and save him. I'm coming! I found this bell but no geocache. <laughs> we are giving up on this one because <laughs> it's impossible to find it under the snow. I'm pretty sure we got super close, like within three feet, it said, but unless we plan to dig out all the snow on this mountain, there's just no way. That explains all of the micro caches we're finding tied up in the trees because there's feet upon feet of snow. We're gonna try and make our way out. So funny. I hooked this bell I found on me to scare the bears away. And more of this slushy trail.
it is raining or possibly we're just feeling all the drops from inside this cloud that's covering this mountain and we've tried to go for one geocache seriously and saw a couple others but they were buried in feet of snow there was just no way finally we've come up to one that we think we could possibly find it's 116 feet away and it's called gotta rest someplace You think it's in that tree? Okay, 20 feet. Could be. Yep, I think you're right. We are right on it. All right, Elliot found a probable spot. The hint said off a lip. Look at all these rocks. I say it's that blue guy. That's what I think. <gasps> Whoa. That's cool. Very cool. That last geocache a favorite point for sure. We are about to climb up this. See that line? There, that's the trail. I didn't film it because it was too dangerous. We were walking along this mountainside on like this narrow slushy slippery path and if you fall it's a long way down. I'm like a little shaken up after that. I guess we're going up even higher. Yep. You think this is the craziest hike you've ever done? Yeah, it's up there. Oh my gosh. We're trying to find a cache called Almost There. That is an unusual rock. Hmm, just a regular rock. Just a regular rock. Right now it says 76 feet that way. Okay. 40 feet. Twenty five feet, probably anywhere around here.
Right, this is like turning into a vertical rock climb, almost to the top. Holy cow. We are like hand over foot climbing this thing. This is what I got to work with. We didn't quite make it to the top because it just looks impossible. Uh, some people just came down and said that they couldn't quite make it up there just because it's like a vertical ice wall at this point, like slushy snow. And we're seeing other people come down and it just doesn't look like it's for us. All right, some people are braving it. Meanwhile, us. Yeah, seems like people are calling it quits right in front of us. It's very tempting. But we also have a long hike back. I'm good with this. Me too. They're sliding down the mountain. <laughs> He got these from Goodwill like a minute before we came here. Very fashionable. I like them. <laughs> okay, now we have to get back down. Oh yeah. All right guys, I'm in trouble. And we're still way the heck up here. Got to see what we can do. Here's our solution. Thankfully, Elliot has this cord and we borrowed a knife from some nice strangers down there. It'll have to do. We got a long way to go. This is what I'm working with here. <laughs> Yeah, this got me through all the really scary, snowy, rocky parts, but <laughs> I'm walking without a sole on one foot. That's okay. Okay, we made it back down somehow. Me with one sole. <laughs> Woohoo! And now we're on our way to Goodwill to get some more boots. Got these fashionable Alaska socks at Walgreens. And... 